Okay, this one is just combining the two forms that we just went over, all right? So for example, if you have minus h, the h value is the x value in the vertex. And it is also the value of x at the axis of symmetry. And then remember, if we added k, that was the y value in the vertex. Just now, instead of just moving it, shifting it either to the left or the right or up and down, we may shift this thing, right? So let's say that we had a parabola like this one, okay? Well, I could take this. Let's see. If, nope, that's not working. Whatever. So uh, now I'm going to move it to the right. But then after that, I'm going to move it upwards like this, okay? So the purple one is the actual parabola we're looking at. See how that changed the, where the vertex is to not a zero value for the x or the y, but it still goes, we still have that vertex, I'm sorry, the axis of symmetry right there. So the h value, again, is moving this to the right, and then the k value is moving it up. Again, and sometimes it may move it left or down, though, it just depends. All right, let's give this one a shot. <clears throat> so we could expand this and then simplify it so that we have a quadratic. And then we could use the vertex formula, but at the same time on this one, we already know that the vertex, the vertex is hk. Now since this one is x plus four, we're gonna make that x minus negative four. We'll square that and subtract six. This is h of x. So we can see right here that the x value, which is the same as the h, is this negative 4. So I'm going to replace h with negative 4. And then the k value is, we can make that a plus negative 6. So k we're going to replace with negative 6. And that gives us this point on the graph, negative 4, negative 6. Yeah, I think that's about, that's about. And next I'll put my axis of symmetry, which is where, so my axis of symmetry is where the x value is the same x value in the ordered pair for the vertex. So x is negative four, let's draw that line. All right, and at this point, we're just gonna make a table. And I am starting at my vertex, right? So I have x and h of x. Meaning I'm going to start there at negative 4, I'll just move to the right, negative 3, just knowing that everything's mirrored from there on, and see if I can find these values. So negative 3 plus 4 is 1, 1 squared is 1, minus 6 is negative 5. So I would have uh, negative 3, negative 5, that's about right there. So I'll make that a different color. And then we got negative 2 plus 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Minus 6 is negative 2. So negative 2 and negative 2. Then we got negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Squared is 9. Minus 6 is 3. So negative 1, 3. Then we got 0. 4 squared minus 6 is 10. And this is our x-intercept, so that's 10. 1 plus 4 is 5 squared is 25 minus 6 is 19, so 1, 19. Now, yeah, I'm not showing all the work for these, but I hope you guys are getting it down all right. And then we just need to draw on the other side of that just the mirror image of these points that we found. So here's this one. And there's those points, assuming I hit those lines right. And then we just need to connect these. I'm satisfied with that. I guess I missed it with this point, but um, if you're trying with the pencil, hopefully it's a little bit easier, especially on a computer. should make that pretty easy for you guys.